So this is how we did the hands. So first of all, the hands are actually the bits from the shoulder all the way down continuous to here. So you, when you when you attach to the shoulder, you just leave them, you know, extraneously long, you know, long enough that you can twist them and wrap them and you know split them, and still get them to pass the fingers by oh yet this much. Then you may or may not notice, but these are the hands of a nine-year-old, <laughs> and this is you know my adult hand. <laughs> so. There's obviously some trickery going on here. In fact, you can kind of see the trickery here. His thumb actually ends right here. So here's how I did it. Um, we start out with a uh, mechanics glove. This one's been well used for you know, putting on uh, rubber cement or contact cement, so it'll do. So I started with one of these. And then took some of this stuff, which is a uh, tube from uh, um, those fluorescent light tubes. They uh, sell them to protect the fluorescent lights in your shop. It's like a really cheap source of thin polycarbonate. You know, on you know. Lexan, I think it's the commercial name for it. Okay, so here's what I did. Polycarbonate. And then uh, narrowed it out of the fingertip a little. And then, I learned this the hard way. You need to put something in here, or uh, when you put the foam over the top of it, it'll wear away at this edge, and uh, you'll see it. So, need a little something something to keep that from happening. So, a little something something. Got a little wedge shaped piece of foam here now. Stick that in there. And now what's hitting the edge is no longer a sharp piece of polycarbonate, it's foam. Then you can, you know, glue this in there well with contact cement. And uh, glue this well with contact cement. And then here's the trick. Figure out where the joint on this finger is. And that is how long you make this piece that you're extending his finger on just the last joint. Once that's glued on there, you make them as long as you want. Here's the nice thing, it still bends so he can't break his finger off. Be like, you know, gets stuck in a door or something, you know, it doesn't, you know, it still has flexibility, but it's actually strong enough you can pick stuff up with it. So, worked pretty well. I tried like, uh, rubber hoses and and uh, polyethylene tubing and you know nothing really worked that well nothing worked as well as just this this was a lot easier too so there you go and then you uh you know run your foam down over that you know coat that well in rubber cement and and over the tip and then back around this way you know, coat the inside well with rubber, with uh, contact cement and then just squeeze it all together. And then when you're done, you just trim all the excess off, sand it, and you end up with this. You can see the, the layer that goes out here and the layer that comes back here, and I missed a little bit there, but nobody ever notices. And then uh, this is actually a single piece here, and I just... Uh, Took a piece of sandpaper and rubbed in here to uh, make it into two 